Hello everybody, welcome once again to the microbial world. My today's topic is differences between flagella and pili and uh, I would like to discuss 10 uh, major differences um, between uh, flagella and pili. So first of all, I would like to give you a comparative definition between uh, these two structures. So if we consider flagella, then uh, it's a, a long tail-like structure that uh, comes out from the cell membrane of the bacteria. Whereas uh, if we consider pili, then uh, it's a, a short, uh, hollow, non-helical structure that uh, comes out from the cell surface of the bacteria. Now, uh, if we see their structure um, of both pili and flagella, then, uh, then we can see in terms of uh, flagella, it's a bit heli it's a helical like structure that means spiral in shape but not straight on the other hand pili is uh, straight in shape but not helical so this is the two differences between pili and flagella whereas if we compare their uh, length then uh, flagella is a very long long in shape but uh, pili is a uh, very short and uh, hair like structure uh, so now what about the thickness uh, of this uh, flagella and pili flagella is comparatively more thicker than uh, pili and uh, the thickness of uh, flagella is uh, uh, 10 sorry 15 to 20 nanometer in diameter on the other hand the thickness of uh, pili is 3 to 10 nanometer in diameter so this is uh, uh, thinner than uh, the flagella. Uh, so there and the number of of this pili, uh, it uh, is numerous in a bacterial cell, whereas if we compare with the flagella, then it is uh, fewer in number uh, rather than the pili. But uh, the number of flagella actually depend on the flagellated uh, bacteria uh, I mean they are uh, based on their types they are uh, different in numbers so in what type of bacteria we can see uh, this uh, two structure in terms of uh, flagella we uh, can see in both gram uh, positive and gram negative bacteria but uh, for pili uh, only gram negative bacteria shows uh, this kind of a structure and uh, if we consider uh, their uh, structure then i mean the composition then uh, uh, we see pili is uh, composed by uh, a protein which is a pilin protein, which is the name based on their name, but it's, it's a kind of a fibrous protein, fiber-like structure, fibrous protein. On the other hand, if we uh, see flagellar protein, then flagella is composed by flagellin protein, and it also composed by another protein which is called globular protein 
well now uh, come to the uh, origin uh, so so in which uh, part of the uh, bacteria they come from for both pili and uh, flagella so if we consider pili then it comes from the cell surface of the bacteria i mean from the cell wall on the other hand for flagella it comes through the uh, cell membrane of uh, the bacteria now come to their function the function of uh, the flagella is to help the bacteria to move from one place to another in search of uh, food or to attract with other adherents flagella has also medical importance in bacterial pathogenesis for example uh, for to create uh, urinary tract infection flagella helps e coli to move from uh, urethra to the urinary bladder and the result is urinary tract infection flagella also can uh, sense temperature chemicals and also heavy metal it has also an important role for the identification of some uh, species for example vibrio and uh, proteus species because based on their motility i mean by helping of the of this uh, flagella uh, we easily can identify in the laboratory uh, of this kind of a species whereas if we consider pili then uh, it is responsible for uh, adherence, I mean attachments. It also uh, transfer DNA from one cell to another in conjugation. I mean uh, during genetic exchange. It also performs uh, motility. So these are the uh, function of these two structures, pili and flagella. Our final uh, term is motion. I mean, how these two structures help bacteria to move from one place to another. If we consider about pili, then it has a twitching motility. Twitching means crawling, like the movement of the babies. So here, pili uh, creating pressure of their uh, body surface. Uh, they they move. On the, on the solid uh, surface and uh, in that case it is uh, performed by the type 4 pili this uh, kind of motility is uh, is happen because of uh, these uh, uh, types and uh, in terms of uh, flagella it has a wave-like movement uh, for example it's much like a propeller of a boat engine. So if you have uh, seen a boat engine, then you can see the propeller uh, moves the boat to go forward by by their movement. To the, so the same mechanism is uh, applied here. Flagella use these mechanisms and help the bacteria to move from one place to another. And that's all for this day.